Greetings, greetings. Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles and great mills and bishops and great millstone. Shalom to your brothers who's teaching. Shalom to you, brothers and sisters who's learning. This message is to the Negroes, Latinos, West Indies, Native Americans, and Haitians to repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Turn back to your God, which is the God over the whole world, which is the God of Israel. Turn back to his ways. Lost that to his commandments and walk upright. Believe in his son who came in his name, Yahweh Shah. For he came and died for our sins and rose on, rose on the third day. And he is the king of Israel and he will come back and rule in a new kingdom. Yahweh Shah will pray. Yahweh Shah is the mediator. He will pray to the father. For all those who believe and repent and want to seek the Lord. He will pray to the father that the father send the Holy Spirit amongst you and dwell amongst you. And you carry the fruits of the spirit and walking upright and walking with Yahweh Shah and being led of the spirit and turn back to our first love, which is Yahweh. All right. So I'm going to jump into this video. Um, Let's get right to it. So that's the video right done, right? So I'm going to jump in a couple of precepts. All right. This is Isaiah 28 and 10. For a precept, must pay upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Jeremiah 3 and 15. Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which I feed you with knowledge and understanding. Psalms 119 and 4. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Let me jump down to 104. Thou thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. All right, so I'm going to jump into Apocrypha, right? So this is the um the book of the pocket for this second address chapter 16 and 17, right? That's the name of the video too. War is me. So it says, War is me, war is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Because if I read up a little bit, it talks about the famine that's coming. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to read. Um the this at verse 16, at 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great deaths, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges from for amendment. All right, so the world is the world is collapsing. Um, Esau, man, he. These white people are losing all their power, man. So I'm going to jump Revelation 17 and 17. So this is Revelation 17 and 17. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou saw is the great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. So this is how we know we this talking about um America, right? So Jeremiah 16, 15. It's talking about this place is America. And it's also talking about um everything is being the purpose and fulfillment of Yahweh by some Yahweh side. Everything is for his his play. The Lord controls everything, he do all things. So Jeremiah 16, 15. 
It say, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from a land of the north. This is a place known in the north. And from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. So this is how you know it's talking about America. I'm going to Deuteronomy 28 and 49. So Deuteronomy 28 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So we came on slave ships too. The Lord, this is a curse. And if you look on the dollar bill, you can see the eagle and a lot of a lot of um the American flag is based on the eagle. This is talking about America. It say, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto you, thou shalt see and no more again. And that ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bun men and bun women, and no man shall buy you. Egypt means bondage. And we came over here on the Atlantic slave trade. Let's see, uh, let me get something out of Matthews. Matthew 24. Uh, there you go. So Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Alright, I'm gonna read up at right, six. I'm gonna start at six. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See ye that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. It's not the end, it's just the beginning. With the banks collapsing. And the inflation is, is just a new name for a recession. It's a, it's, we're in a recession, they just changed the name to inflation so everybody don't plan, panic. So, Revelations 18, 18 and 4. Alright. So, it's Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. So, all throughout the Bible and all throughout the history of the book and the history of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The Lord, he, he, the the way that this this devil, this white man has turned the world upside down. He's changed the laws and le legislations. Like he changed the laws of the Lord. He 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 passed the law to marry man and man and women and women. He passed um bestiality laws in four states. I know one of them is uh, Montana. It's four of them. Four states. I had it. Um, let's look it up real quick. Uh, Slovakia, hold on, bear with me, y'all. Uh, and it's crazy. I think it's more states. There you go. The whole time. So, 
He passed a law in Hawaii, New Mexico, West Virginia, and Wyoming. Did not have laws against bestiality. That's sick, man. So this man, so he had destroyed the world. He polluted the food. The food is GMO. None thing is natural. Cut down all the trees down here in Florida. In Georgia, they cut, for some reason, they cut down all the trees, all the star apple trees and mango tree. They cutting down a lot of trees so that you can run to the stores and get their food, but the whole time the food is killing you. Whole time food is killing you, man. And, you know, the, the Lord is telling us to come. So again, he said, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues because the plagues are coming. The force of judgment, that's in Ezekiel 14 and 21. Let me get that real quick. Say, for thus said the Lord, Yahweh, how much more when I send my force of judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword and a famine and an awesome beast and a pestilence to cut off from it man and beast. These animals out here going wild too. Everything is crying out, man. Everything is crying out for mercy, man. The whole world is polluted. This man just changed. He, he, his, his laws are contrary to Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah laws. Ain't got none. His laws have nothing to do with the law of the land, the law of Yahweh. So this is Yahweh. He this is Yahweh talking to us, man. He say, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh had re remembered her iniquities. So this place is for to go down. Back to that video that you just watched, man. Put in paid off Africa debt to America. Everybody's against America right now. Everybody. And they, they even said in like four weeks, the the dollar, the dollar is gonna crash. But I mean, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but they said the dollar gonna crash and I really don't care really to be real. Our main focus is to turn back to your house by some y'all with shopping. We just need to let this place go, man. If you got a little business or you feel like you want to refer yourself, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. But chasing all them drinks, buying up all that land and all them fancy cars and trying to have millions and millions of dollars, that ain't going to be worth nothing. That ain't, that ain't it. All right, so that's Isaiah 53 and 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And Yahweh had laid upon him the iniquity of his all. John 21. I'll read 15, 15 through 17. So when they had died, Yahweh Shah said unto Simon Peter. Yeah, they say Jesus in the Bible, but his real name is Yahweh Shah. All the J's, the, the name is no, no J's in the Hebrew. E's and U's. Um, so when they had dined, Yahweh I said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. And I know a lot of people is big on be saying, okay, it's no letter J in the Bible, so why would we say Joshua? Or Jonas or James. Why do you say that with ease? Because they're not Yahweh Shah. And he said, Yahweh Shah said he's gonna put his mark. He's gonna put his name in our foreheads. So it's, the prophets all spoke of Yahweh Shah. So we gotta give you gotta have his name right. So he said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. And love is a is an action word. So, hold on, John. Hold on, let me finish reading this and I'll jump to it. Hold on, what's going on? He said unto him, feed my sheep. No, he said unto him again the second time, Simon, Jonas. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? 
Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Love is thou me. And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, Feed my sheep. Uh, let's see. Fourteen. 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 Right, so John 14, 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. It's plain as day. Revelations 22. 14. Revelation 22, 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the and through the gates into the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers, that's the whole point though. Blessed are they that do his commandments. But I continue to read. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and adulterers and whosoever love it and make it a lie. The ways of the world, the ways of this beast, they are liars. The ways of this world. Listen, if you cleave on to this way of these laws and reject the law and statute commandments of Yahweh, you will, you will, man. It's great wrath coming, you coming to you, man. You are gonna find out the hard way, and you are gonna find out everything that all these brothers been preaching and telling you about the Bible, the commandments is real. When that when that sky crack open, man, and y'all see how it's shot, we all see the the Messiah and the, and the heavenly host coming, man. People just gonna drop dead. They gonna be, oh, it's it's real. Let's go, let's go here real quick. Let's go here real quick. Matthew. Twenty-four. Let's go ahead, right. I think it's Evers. There you go, right. Matthew 24 and 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. All the tribes of the earth. Everybody, all the tribes of the earth, man. Every nation. Even the Israelites. They say shall mourn. So what's mourning? Look. It go mourn. This is the word for mourn. Feel or show deep sorrow or regret for someone or their death. Typically by listen, man. Feel or show deep sorrow or regret. You, a lot of people gonna regret because they gonna find out that the whole time this man is real. These people was his prophets. These people was his messengers. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Look at that, man. This is real, man. This Bible ain't nothing to be played with. We can go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, nah. Nah, oh, chapter 12. My bad. So lucky. This stuff is real, man. Gotta repent, man. And turn back to the ways of uh, the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh which is the law statute commandments. And a good part about it is Yahweh Shah is gonna pray for you. And send his spirit and pray to the Father and send the Holy Spirit on you, man. I went into that lesson yesterday, man. A righteous man falling seven times, but he get back up, man. Of course, man, we 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 gonna fall, man. We're gonna every every battle ain't gonna be won, man, but why you keep pushing and keep going, man, to learn. Like, man, you know what? It's just like a kid when you keep getting burnt. Eventually, you're going to stop trying to touch the fire. You're going to learn, man. Hey, I ain't touching that. That, that. that ain't the way to go. Just like a kid on the training wheels. You keep, you gonna, you going to keep riding the training wheels, and then you take the training wheels off, and he might fall a couple of times. And then, because when we all come in the truth, man, it's we don't care about nothing. That's all we care about. We don't care about dealing with women. We don't care about sex. None of that. When you first come in, when the Lord first worked you up into the truth, man, you all in. When I first came into the truth, bro, my, my girl at the time was begging me to bone out, man. Begging me to drill. I was I, I wasn't that man, I say, man, I ain't wanna care nothing about none of that. You ain't talking about the Lord, I don't wanna hear you. You can't come around me. 
I, I watching videos day in, day out. People thought I was bugged out, going crazy. But that's how, that's how it is when you get that spirit, man. And then you just start again. The Lord just start putting you through them fiery trials, man. And the whole time we thinking that the spirit left, and the spirit has always been there, just taking you through. You got to go through certain things, certain things to fulfill your lot and your measure. Man, boy, thank you, Lord. I will pray to y'all about something. I was shot, man. Man. Man, man. Ecclesiastes 12 and 9. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yeah, he, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words and that which is and which was written was upright, even the words of truth. And further, by these, my son, be a monist of making many books. There is no end going off reading all them books and trying to find what is truth and want to be a, a freedom thinker and just going off, man. You know what I'm talking about. Them, them, them people that, oh, you got to be vegan. Okay, listen, we know the food is contaminated, but the Lord put this curse on us. If I want to eat meat or eat vegan, that's on you. Don't be out here. Picking on people and telling people what they can and can't. I was even going off one time when I had to snap out of it. But if you want to be vegan, be vegan. You want to eat meat, you eat meat. As long as it's clean, that's all that matters. Matthews 4 and 4, the Lord said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. So the whole time, all the thing that matters is this word. That's it. Many but there is no end. And much study is weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the whole. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear your Howard and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's it. Simple. Uh, let's go to Psalms one nineteen. One nineteen one forty two. Thy righteousness is everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So jump down to 151. Thou art near, O Yahweh, and all thy commandments are truth. Uh, Joshua. Yes, uh, 14. Let's see. I think it's Joshua 21, my bad. Now therefore fear, fear Yahweh And serve him in sincerity and in the truth That's what I just read um, And these kids out here going off boy Kids man These jits out here just losing it to it. Thy righteousness is everlasting. Thy righteousness is everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. The law is the truth. The law, statute, commandments. Thou art near, O Yahweh, and all thy commandments are truth. This is the truth. This is the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Yahweh said. said nobody can come to the Father but by him. He, he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the walking Bible. He is the walking Lost that to commandments of Yahweh, his wisdom in the flesh. Go back to Joshua 24. I'm almost done, y'all. This ain't this is the most beautiful thing you could have listened to all day, man. It ain't nothing better than this. Say now therefore fear Yahweh and serve him in sincerity and in truth. So keeping the lost that to commandments, what I just read. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood. And in Egypt and serve ye the Lord. 
Christianity, but all of us was in different religions and beliefs. We 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 was all bugged out bad. Even pork, shrimp. We was bugged out bad, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is merciful, man. Just uh, just to imagine. To continue being in that state, man. And I'm not better than nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody is, is, is perfect, but we strive to be, man. We strive to be perfect. And if you perfect, man, I don't take that from you, man. Shalom, one, peace and blessings. But we all battle. Uh, we all have our weak points and our differences. I know my weaknesses. And you, man, you sisters, y'all know y'all weaknesses. Listen, man. It is a beautiful thing, man. To walk in the truth. It's beautiful. There's nothing more beautiful than this. Nothing. Dog, just to imagine, man, to die without knowledge, to die in, in foolishness, to die in, in, in false religions and booty. Just a God that can't save you to die. When you so when you dying, who who gonna save you? You can't cry, you're not crying out to the right God. You crying out to a false God. And if it seemed evil unto you to serve the Lord, because a lot of people so if you're not keeping the statutes and commandments of the Lord, that's evil to you. You you hate it. You going contrary. You don't like it. It's not. It's not. You feel like it's not for you. You see, it's evil to do good. So you you going contrary to the Lord. Choose you this day whom you will serve. So you got to make a decision. You're gonna serve Yahweh or the devil, which is his flesh, uh, the white man, because. His laws, is the, the devil used in the white man to rule the whole world. Yahweh will use Yahweh Shah to rule the new world, the new kingdom. Heaven and earth are going to pass away. This whole thing, this whole way of thinking, like the Walmarts, the food, all this stuff is going to be gone. It's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. It's going to be a new way back to how it's supposed to be. At the natural state as it was in the Garden of Eden. With Adam and Eve, you're going to be back to the best state. We're going to be in, in the kingdom, man. Ruling the whole world. Ain't nothing better than that. What are the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood? Or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell? But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And as for me and my house, as for me as well. As for me, my temple. I will serve the Lord, man. So, let's see if I got more precepts. Uh, so yeah, man. With all with all that being said, man, all pray to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakadash, man. Peace and blessings to all my brothers and sisters out there in the truth. Shalom to all the elect. Shalom to all the people that's still waking up and the people that's learning. Listen, man. Don't let no man deceive you. Making you go off, taking on MOTB or going off into false things. Learn it for yourself. Learn it for yourself, man. Everybody had their own teacher, man. Everybody had their own. The Lord put man over certain people. So whoever is for who is for who. Some people might not like my videos. Some people might not take me serious and might not watch my videos. But there's other people that might take me serious and watch my videos. I watch all I watch all videos that's edifying. I don't hold nothing against nobody. I don't care how you look. I don't care you know, what you saying, like far as like uh your 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 personal things or whatever. I mean I care about the personal personal things. I'm not saying it that way, but I don't what I just mean is as long as you preaching the word, that's all that matters, man. I'm going, you know what I'm saying? If, if I come across your page on YouTube, I'm going to listen. You know, some brothers do long video, four-hour videos. I might not watch the whole video through. I might watch two hours in, might take a break, might come back to it. The type of job I have, I got a lot of free time, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful, I'm thankful, for, I'm thankful for the Lord, for the, the, the role he has created for me. I'm thankful for it, man. Like, even though what... What I'm facing and what I'm going through is still good. And to think about the kingdom and the treasure that I'm storing up in heaven, man, this stuff is, 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 is pound cake. This stuff is cake walk, zebra cakes, man. This stuff is easy, man, compared to what we're for to get. Man, I don't even, listen, man, I don't even care about the wives, the, 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 the land, all that stuff we're going to get in the kingdom, man. I just care about being in the presence of God. 
the presence of Yahweh Shah. That's all I care about, man. The, the Lord crowning me, telling me well done, son, and, and giving me, you know, my portion in the kingdom. That's all I care about, man. So with all that, man, hey, love you, love, love, and love to you brothers, man, and sisters. Shout out to one, man. Hey, y'all stay prayed up. Y'all continue enduring. Keep fighting. Just keep going, man. Shout out to one. Peace.